Welcome to the world of professional dunking. I'm standing up on this thing with the can in my hand. What's hard about Duncan? You want to watch this? You got to entertain and win. So is it is even harder to be just a professional basketball player? Because you got to entertain, put on a show, and win. And nowadays, you know, all these guys like Aaron Gordon, Zach Levine, uh, when they won the dunk contest, they even did an interview and uh, was thanking me for it because I would give them ideas, tell them how to dunk. From Zach Levine, that dunk contest that he did, all them dunks is all me. From that behind the back to the between the legs, it's, it's all me, it's all my dunks. Yeah, yeah, nobody lost that one. That was an incredible display. So much hasn't been done, and to me, it feels like every time I do a new dunk, it's like I've discovered like something new, you know? I guess it kind of started like a really long time ago. Uh, my dad always had like hoops that were like this tall, so there's videos of me at one years old dunking. And my whole life, I just was like Fisher Price and that's like worked my way up. You know, I never thought I would be this good. I never thought I would be a profession. I knew I would just do it for fun, but I guess I got so obsessive with it that I eventually got good enough to get paid for it. Around 16, 17 years old, that's when I found the, like the community of dunking. Um, I found I found pages on on YouTube that were like all about professional dunkers. Started finding out about guys like uh, like Guy Dupuis, for example. And honestly, I, at a certain point, I was just like, all right, my goal is to be the best dunker in the world one day. It's kind of bad. Like it's it's almost like an addiction. Like 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 I, I need I need to dunk every single day. In order to like like make a living off of it, you got to be like like top top in the world. You got to be winning a lot. Social media is like, is pretty much king. Like to be able to do these events, like you have to have a big following. That's, that's how uh, people find you. He's not in the NBA, but he is an athlete. For me, it's never really about when NBA guys like uh, freak out over my stuff. To me, it's always about like ex like pro dunkers or like guys that I've met in person. Uh, I guess my favorite one was T-Dub. I got to meet T-Dub actually like six months ago and I was like in my head, I was like fangirling, you know, like uh, especially because a lot of dunkers act like they don't really care about dunking, like I'm a baller, but he was like, you know, his head was there, so it was sweet. My favorite part is seeing guys like Isaiah, like inspiring people that, that you can do what you want if you put the work. You know, I gotta show them the way to be doing it the right way. So, but besides that, it was just all fun the whole time. I was traveling the world. I went around the world 11 times. You know, it was just, that was so much fun. I always tell people dunking is a community. Like, um, there's a lot of people out there trying to dunk different levels, whether you're doing between the legs or just barely getting it up there. Um, everybody loves it. And just to be able to share your passion with other people is everything. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.